So we're going to be making our mini beast bunting today and I'm going to be using an old pillowcase and what I've done is I have cut however many pieces I want for my bunting. I've cut into triangles ready, all of a, a same size. So we're going to move on to cutting our potatoes and we're going to just simply use a few different shapes and then mix those up for our different bugs. So when we come to looking at our shapes, to start off with a round one, I'm going to use a small potato and just a standard little metal bottle top. I'm going to cut this in half and I'm going to push this lid into my potato like that, quite far in. Then with my knife I'm going to be cutting just a, about half a centimetre down all the way around. If you've pushed your bottle top in you can feel the metal bottle top as you go around so you know where to stop. All the way around and when you take that off you take your bottle top out you've then got your circle and you can see a little bit better on that one because that one's coloured. What I'm going to do is I'm going to chop it down like this so that when you come to print you can see exactly where you're going to be. So I'm just going to chop my sides off, careful not to chop my shape, like so. And there we go, that's the circle. When you come to do an oval, then it's good just to use the shape of your potato. So find a good oval potato and keep that like it is. When you come in to do your half a circle for your wings, if you use the same potato, so cut it in half, Use one half for your body and the other half you can just cut that and that becomes your wing and then when you offset that it's the same size the same length as your body so that's your semicircle like that. When you come to do the triangle which we use for the middle part of our ladybird. Simply cutting the triangle into your potato. I'm going to leave that round edge because that's going to be the bottom of my ladybird. And then just cutting in, you can see just a few millimeters until I, that one comes out. And the same the other side, like that. You can see a bit better on that one because it's coloured. And that's your triangle. When we look at this bug and we're looking at putting a different pattern on our wings, like this, then what I've done there is on my wing, with my knife again I've just gone in but I'm going to go in at a little bit of an angle so that I'm going in like a V and then that just slots out like that
when I'm looking at my bumblebee body, I've halved a potato, I'm using the one half of the main yellow body, and then the other half, which I know to be the same size, or roughly, I'm doing the same effect that I did on this one, only I'm only going one stripe, and that gives you your stripes. For our little blue ladybug here, to have this effect on his body, these stripes here, what I've done is I've halved a potato and I've just wrapped an elastic band around that. Keep this edge quite flat for when you come to print, um, but that's a nice little effect to give you something different. When we're thinking about the antenna and the legs, just grab a little piece of cardboard off a cereal packet or a box, fold that in half, give yourself a nice crease there and to keep these ends together just pop yourself an elastic band around there. This length needs to be however long you want your antenna or your legs so I think I might want mine a little bit shorter than that which I'll do in a moment. And then I'll show you how you just run some paint along this edge and print like this. Also, we're going to need um, a cotton bud as well. And the cotton buds are useful for the ends of the legs and the eyes and any little patterns that you want to put on as well. And I'll show you how to do that. At the bottom here, um, on my bunting, I ended up with quite a, a lot of white space, so I wanted to add a few leaves. So an easy way to show you how to do simple leaves, cut your potato in half and use the curve as part of your design. So what I've done here is I've just brought it to a point at the top. You will need a sharp knife for this. So all I'm doing is I'm bringing that down to the curve and following my line around. And again, I'm just going a few millimetres in and cutting that little wedge out, like that. And the same again this side, I'm just gonna bring that into a, a leaf shape, cutting that bit off. And then I'm just going to round that up a little bit. When you come to do the middle vein here, again, if you go at a bit of a slant, it's easier to get that wedge out. So I'm just going at about a 45 degree angle and I'm just bringing that around a bit of a curve. It's a bit hard to see, but when you come to do it, it'll be, be a bit easier for you to see what you're doing. And then just take that bit of potato out and that's your one leaf. If you want to add a bit more interest on it with some jaggedy edges, then cutting that out in the same way, your basic shape, and same with this one, I'm going to cut the vein in first in the same way and then when I come to my little frilly bits on here I'm just going to chop those in and then lift that little bit out with the point of the knife And if you carry on that all the way around, you can do a different kind of leaf. So we're going to do the fun bit now and we're going to start printing. So I've just used an old CD case lid or you can use um, 
an ice cream tub lid or whatever, something that you can throw away for your paints. I'm using acrylic paint, but if you want, if you haven't got acrylic paints at home, then you can use poster paint or at the end of this video, you'll see a recipe for making your own homemade paint. So with my flags that I've already cut out, I'm going to, first of all, I'm going to paint the main body color. So rather than stamping, I'm going to paint it on, but you can do either. So get a good layer of paint on there. And this is for my B body. I'm just going to show you how to do the three bugs but you can have fun doing whatever you like. Pushing that well down. What you need to do is you need to leave those now, leave your main colour to dry before you overlay it with anything else. So while I'm waiting for those I'm going to do my ladybird body. And then on the top of that, I just want half a circle. So where I've cut this one out before, I just halved that. So now I'm going to wait for um, my body bits to dry. While I'm waiting for that, I can actually do my legs um, and antenna. So I'm going to make my cardboard just a little bit thinner. And just hold that in place. And for my ladybird, I want two antenna at the top. So what I'm doing is I'm just dabbing along that one edge just some black paint. And at the top here, I'm just going to use the end, the tip of a cotton bud, pop that in some paint, like that, and just splodge that on the end there. So I'm going to let him dry and I'm going to, while I'm waiting for him to dry, I'm going to add some legs to my bumblebee just in the same way and my other one as well. So when you've waited for your main colours to dry, then you can start adding your other colours over the top.
just popped a little bit of glue on the end of there. I'm just going to pop a little bit of decoration on there. Just going to pop him over here to let him dry and we're coming back to the bee. Just going to pop him on one side just to dry a little bit and add the wings to my ladybird. Well, we're waiting for the bits to dry so that we can put our eyes on, then I'll show you how to do the leaves. So we can just pop some eyes on now and with your cotton bud just pop that in some white paint and we're just going to pop two splodges for our eyes. You can add all the decoration you want to or make some different bugs. What I've done is I've left a little way at the top because you're going to turn that edge over and put your cord or your wool through to hang your bunting and I'll show you that when these guys are dry. So when you come to hanging your bunting 
you're just going to need some wool or some string and while those guys are still drying I'll show you on this one so turn it over and you can either run some double sided sticky tape across this edge or else if you haven't got any of that pop a little bit of glue or you can just pop your string there turn that over and with a stapler just staple that on and with your little edges here careful not to snip your string off but you can just snip that away to neaten that up and do that all the way along and there's your mini beast bunting <laughs>